Can you tell me about the RPF's RPF? Oh. I was like, okay, fine. So we, I went on to the RPF's RPF, which is the lowest of the low. You can't even talk to the RPF. You know, it's the same thing, but it's more worse. and more punishment. Escalate well, the punishment. Yeah, you get Escalate. up earlier. You less take sleep. less sleep, less eating time, running full blast. You're doing stuff that nobody else wants to do. I mean, I was basically stripping wires you know? How um, many hours a day? Uh, I don't know. A long time. Like from after breakfast till... There was no studying. That is the gulag of the gulag. Five hours sleep. And the worst jobs of all. Cleaning bacteria infested fungus off drain pipes. The punishments escalate to make you truly toe the line within the RPF because if you don't, you're going to get the RPF's RPF. Now, people are forced to sign a phony waiver devised by church lawyers saying they agree to all this. Yes, I want to voluntarily do this to make myself a better spiritual being. <laughs> voluntarily. I, I'm voluntarily going to sign that I'm going to work 80 hour weeks for no pay, never have a day off, never have an annual leave. You had heard that the RPF, Rehabilitation Project Force, was mm -hmm. grim. So this was, this was very brave and courageous of you. Your love was cut. You were willing to endure. You, you'd heard stories of the I RPF. I had heard some right? stories, yeah. And um, the but food it, it was wasn't... leftover slop. Yeah, it, heavy, heavy manual work when events. You still wanted to do it just to get your husband through it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. There was no, no day off in the RPF. No celebration for Thanksgiving, New Year, Christmas, nothing. Is the purpose of the RPF to break a person's will? You know, I'm glad you asked that question. Because Scientology, Inc., the Church of Scientology spits on psychiatry, is that psychiatry uses punishment, pain and punishment, like electric shock, and, and punishment in institutions. But Scientology, Inc., the Church of Scientology, uses punishment it almost exclusively. By the age of 15, Shane was living a nightmare even he now struggles to believe. As soon as I, I turned 15, I was doing seven days a week, 14 hour days. See, that, that's 100 hours a week. Yeah. In a commercial kitchen, Shane and other children slaved away, cooking meals all day, every day, studying and snatching what little sleep they could. We'd get anywhere between $4 pay to $35. $35 a day? Uh, a week. That's completely unacceptable. But there's no law in New South Wales that makes it illegal to work a child for those hours. It punishes to show domination. It punishment punishes to show you who's boss. It punishes to show you we will overwhelm you. Down dog! You do as we say. And if you don't, we'll escalate the punishment. We'll take away your kids. Well, your, your, your spouse will never speak to you again. Now, I'm not speaking as some outsider that did a few interviews with a few people. I lived and breathed the RPF. I was forced to run around the pole 12 hours a day after talked about that story before. But the punishments within the RPF are inhumane. I remember once I was given an order to run 20 laps from the level of the Fort Harrison, right up a spiral garage to the top floor of the garage and run down non-stop 20 times because I hadn't produced enough 
of a job that was assigned me. You, you can't talk to anyone. There, there is no host, there is no mediator, there is no one you can turn to. Once you're in the RPF, you are in almost solitary confinement from the world. Where you're asked like, well, did you ever say anything um, negative about Scientology? Did you ever um, indicate to anyone that Ellen Hubbard, you know, something bad about Ellen Hubbard? Question after question after question after question. And for each of those, it follows the same procedure. And after it's all done, you have to realize that you were deluded. That's part of the, they call it the in phenomena of the procedure. Um, it goes on usually for months, every day. And you're constantly looking for the evil in you. Like why, you know. And at the end, you think they're all great people. And it was all your own evil purposes that made you deluded. And you don't get off the RPF until you've, you've had that realization. You are brainwashed because after doing the truth rundown, you have to stand in front of all the 100, 200 other RPFers and say to them, you know what? I was deluded. I had misconception. David Miscavige and management are saving the church and they are wonderful. And those bad negative thoughts I had, that was from the evil in my soul. Do you know that to graduate the RPF, you have to humiliate yourself and publicly give that announcement to the crew? Is that not a brainwash? That you couldn't think your thought? What would be the end phenomena of RPF? An obedient Sea Org member? Yes. The church, in its deception, pretends that it's going to make you a higher level spiritual being, where you have more wisdom, where you know yourself better. But really, the church wants an obedient slave.